Okay, hello everyone. I hope y'all can hear me. Had my wisdom tooth pulled, so bear with me. But I thought about it and I was home alone to do an updated nail video for our new apartment. Because some things have changed with long nails. Don't mind the mess. Some of this stuff has to go to storage. So the first thing, these knobs. Do not, do not open this door like this. Okay, do not. You want to do this. Okay. Do not, because you will make a mistake and underestimate and snatch this whole nail off. Don't even do this. Don't even do this. Okay? Pay attention. Focus camera. I ain't got time to play with you today. Nah. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not do this. I see a lot of people doing these nail videos about wearing long nails for a day, and they doing all kinds of stupid crap. Okay? I'm sure y'all how not to do stupid crap. And I'm still putting stuff together. Don't mind the trash. I got it ready to go for the hubby. Come take the trash out because I'm not. Got these mats from Amazon. I thought they were so, so, so cute. If they stay down. I put some two-way tape underneath to try to get them to stay down. The corners want to lift up. So I wasn't very fond of this apartment. Hopefully it's temporary till we get the house. But the other thing is, do not do this. Do not do that. It is very simple to do, but if you underestimate, you are going to rip your nail off. I open them like this. I may open it like this. I may grab it like this. But I am not going to grab it the way it's normally supposed to be grabbed. And I have to talk to myself. You have to remember these things, people. You will hurt yourself, okay? Okay, I do not, or I'll do like this, but do not put that nail in there. I know you want to, I know it's so easy to do. You want to do this, you want to do, do freaking not do that. Okay, don't when you open this drawer, do not open this drawer like this. You are going to underestimate taking your hand out of this drawer. I usually do this, or I do this. Okay. Use your fingers. It's an adjustment, but it's worth it. I'm telling y'all, it is so worth it. Do not do this. And if you do do this, you need to make sure your hand comes all the way out. You can't be in the kitchen cooking, 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 and grab this drawer and think you're going to remember that your nails are three, four inches long. Do not open this cabinet like this. Do not open this cabinet like that. I grab the cabinet like this, or like this, or like this. Do not. Sometimes I, I grab it with my, my fingers. Um, it's a sacrifice, but it's a wonderful sacrifice because I don't hurt myself. I do not want to hurt myself. I do not want to rip my nail off. So do not, people. Don't do the little stupid crap y'all see in these videos. Um, another thing is the microwave. Do not... If you open a microwave door like this, make sure that you take your hand all the way out. You cannot be in a rush. Why did my daughter... Oh, my God. Can y'all come get these freaking kids, man? Why she leave a freaking taco up here and she done went out with her friends? Like, I don't understand why she left a taco up there. Oh, my God. Like, I'm constantly doing something. Anyways... I open the microwave like this. My nail is here. It is not tucked behind here. It is not tucked under here. It is right here. This is how I open my microwave. Okay? Be very careful. You cannot be in a rush with a lot of things. But if sometimes you're cooking, your mind is not going to be. You're going to get some out of the microwave. Your mind is not going to be on that. So you want to be absolutely sure that you do not do that. With the refrigerator. This refrigerator came with the house, so I want to hear y'all mouth, okay? I wouldn't have bought this refrigerator. Y'all see? What is... Ugh, just got food everywhere. This refrigerator, I'm still getting used to. There is these little knobs right here on each side. So, what I've gotten used to is just putting my finger inside this refrigerator to open it. Because I keep wanting to catch it, but... I've gotten used to putting my finger. My other refrigerator wasn't like this. But this refrigerator came with the house. With the house. With the apartment. So, 
I have to adjust to it. Um, you definitely want to adjust to your knobs, to your door handles. You are going to hurt yourself. And the reason <clears throat> you're going to hurt yourself is because you're trying to use the nails to do stuff. When y'all ask how do you do anything with those nails, think about what you're saying. I don't do anything with my nails. The Lord blessed me with fingers and I have 10 of them. I don't do anything with my nails. I'll show y'all one more thing. Even to open this. I do this and I pull it. I don't stick my hand in this hole. I don't stick my hand in this loop. I pull it just like this. So when y'all say, how do you do anything with those nails? It's a very, very simple answer. I don't do anything with my nails. Point blank and period. I do not do anything with my nails. Everything, everything is done with your fingers. That is why you have fingers. When you don't have nails on, what do you use? Your fingers. Your fingers. My desk area, I'm setting up today, trying to set up. When you open these, this is dangerous for long nail divas, honey. I just grab it with my whole hand. My whole hand. I'm not putting my hand around it. I'm not trying to grab this knob. My whole freaking hand I'm grabbing this with. Okay? Very dangerous. Be very, very, very careful. Very careful. Stop using your nails to do a lot of stuff. That's why y'all ripping them off. That's why you're splitting them in half. That's why you're bleeding. And then you want to come ask me how to do something. I don't do anything with my nails. They are nails. They are not made for you to use as a tool, should I say. It's not made for you to use as a tool. It is a nail. So, if you guys have any other questions, I'm trying to think of other stuff around the house. Um... My sixth station, y'all. I'm just posted up on the couch. Everybody done left me, but I know my husband's on his way back. I'm trying to think of anything else because when you move, and even when you buy a car, be very careful about how you open car doors, let the windows up and down. Maybe my dresser. Y'all, I have not cleaned this room, so y'all say something, I'm going to block you. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's dark in here, but do you see these knobs on my dresser? I do not put my hand in this knob to open it. I do not put my hand in this knob to open it because I feel like I'm going to underestimate where I need to be. So I grab the knob with my fingers, my knuckle, my hand. I grab the knob just like that. I don't go here. I don't go here. I don't even try to snatch it like that. No, I'm going to grab the knob with my fingers. So I'm trying to think of everything to tell y'all because... People ask a lot of questions about how you do stuff with nails. But if you are doing stuff with your nails, you are plum crazy. Okay? Plum crazy. And the videos that people do, like wearing long nails for 24 hours and stuff, they make me so freaking mad. Because, of course, you're not going to be able to do anything if you do it, like, with your nails. You're not going to be... Because you're not supposed to be doing anything with your nails. Even... You don't even do anything with your regular nails. Like, the regular nails that you have that you were born with, you don't do nothing with that. So... Why well, put on long nails and then try to accommodate life with them, if that makes sense? Use your fingers. I cannot stress it enough. I cannot say it enough. Use your fingers. I think for the most part, I think for the most part, I've had to adjust to this apartment. Because even the bathroom, I have to catch myself when I open this to get um, my... Um, what do you call that? Floss. Dental floss and toothpaste out. Um, I have these two cabinets. And I gave my husband this one little cabinet. <laughs> but I have to adjust. I have to remember to grab this. If I grab this like this, I will grab it like this. But I make sure not to have my nail like all the way in between there or my hand all the way in between there. So it wasn't what I would have chose, but the hubby chose this place. And so, I didn't want to overpower him on his decision because my next choice is going to be a house. And I don't want nobody saying nothing to me. It's going to be exactly how I want it to be. 
So it's a nice apartment. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it. It's just some choices that I would not have made. But I have to adjust to this way of living. So I just thought I'd come and share it with y'all. If y'all have any questions, let me know. Do not ask me how I wipe because I wipe the same way you do. I get tissue, put it, it, wrap it up in my hand, and I wipe my behind. That's the bottom line. Dumb, it, dumb question. I almost said something. Don't ask me that, but I'll be happy to answer any questions that you guys have regarding long nails and how to do certain things. And I'll see you guys in the next video.